time to go through some of these stocks of the week to come. Uh, we got a big week coming up with the banks finally kicking off earnings reports, and I've been looking at them right now, so I figured I would make a video on my watch list. Um, I'm looking at banks right now. I'm looking at J.P. Morgan. With Morgan Stanley reporting this week. Um, I forget exactly who reports and when, so give me one second. I think that we're going to be taking... Um, I'll be paying attention to a lot of the banks this week for sure. I like Goldman Sachs. So we kick off with J.P. Morgan on Wednesday before market open. Um, we have BlackRock, we have Citibank, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and this happens on Wednesday and goes into Thursday. So I'm going to look for some strength right at the beginning of the week and for the banks, especially with inf uh, interest rates rising. We're going to have a lot more you know, profitability going to the banks as they're going to charge more money to borrow money. Um, the only thing that worries me there is the demand. Is the demand actually lowering? So are they actually going to be more profitable with demand pulling back as well as their, you know, the the profits that they could be making off of these, off of these borrow rates? So um, I am looking for a lot of a lot of movement in the banks. This is kind of starting to form a reversal, but also a bear flag. So I have this drawn on J.P. Morgan right now. Uh, I'm looking at this 135 resistance point, and then I wouldn't be surprised to see us at like 137, maybe even 140. We could see some really bullish flow. Um, and J.P. Morgan, that's actually not my favorite bank stock right now. Goldman Sachs is one of my is one of my big favorites. Uh, this 325 break could send us right back up to 337, 340. So I'll be watching this with strength, especially if it's at the bottom of this Bollinger Band. And another really good bank to trade is Morgan Stanley. So I'll be looking at Morgan Stanley as it bounced off this almost formed like a double bottom here from a couple of days ago. This was on Thursday, and then Friday started to reverse a little bit, um, starting to try to break out of this downtrend. I'd say it got rejected a little bit, but I am definitely watching the banks early. So Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs are my two top that I would like to watch. Um, and if we're bullish by any means this week, I'm going to be looking at Tesla. I like this thousand dollar bounce if we can get it below this 1020. We'll probably see a lot more downside. Tap this thousand, um, and there's a big gap down as you can see. It's just stormed back for uh, a couple weeks here, but at the same time, this pullback. This is uh, a little bit of an extension in the whole market, so I'm, I'm expecting some downside short term, but I will be looking for some bounces around this thousand dollar level. But below this ten twenty we could see that thousand dollars. So a twenty dollar drop and some put options in Tesla would pay probably around a thousand dollars per contract. So that would be a really good play. I'm also looking um, at the spy of course because this is the whole entire market. We have kind of a doji candle that that formed last week on Friday. So it was a pretty crappy moving day. It was closed around four forty seven fifty seven. But I would like to see some downside on this. If we get, if we're weak, we could probably see 444. And if we break this 444, we're headed right down to 440. Any sort of bounce, we could look for this 450 break, and then that 450 break, we could go back up to this 453 level as well. Um, so I would be looking into this range for the the bullish pattern, and then on the downside, I'd be looking for that 440 break down to 440. So banks are huge this week. Um, just going through some of this stuff. So I would watch Morgan Stanley for some strength early on. Um, along with J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs. Those are my three favorite banks to play. And then I would definitely be looking for the breakdown on Tesla if the market is weak. And then, of course, the SPY levels um, below this 444, down to 440, and then at this 450 break, look for that rip to 453. So not really sure which way it's going to go. we got a short week this week, but there are earnings kicking up. The last few weeks have been really, really choppy, and there hasn't been a lot of opportunity trading-wise, but at the same time... Um, the volatility should pick up a little bit more when we have banks reporting and we'll have a better outlook on where things are going. So keep these ones on watch. Banks are huge. SPY is huge. And this Tesla breakdown slash bounce around 1,000 is another really big one that I'll be paying attention to. Um, something that I'm really, really starting to scale into and, and look long-term is definitely the CRM play. I really, really like this this Salesforce, especially with their, their earnings coming up in May. So this is a dip that I'm really looking to buy. They're back to their COVID levels before the COVID crash. So Definitely something to keep on watch for the long term, but this week, definitely pay attention to the banks, and then key levels are those ones I talked about on the SPY. So hopefully this helps, and we're, we're making some money this week. So good luck, guys.